My name is Julie Danby and the safety film you are about to see is in response to actual serious incidents and deaths caused by smoking with oxygen. Hopefully this will allow you to reflect on the decisions you make with respect to your oxygen therapy and highlight the potential dangers and devastating consequences caused by the careless use of oxygen therapy. The fact is, the consequences of the decisions you make don't just impact on you. This short safety film will allow you to see the nature of oxygen near a heated source and the devastating physical and emotional effects this can have on you and your loved ones. Some scenes may be upsetting, but no one was hurt during filming. I'm concerned about you. Why? Because you're smoking with your oxygen, and I think it's very dangerous. Carol from the Home Oxygen Service and this is Sam from the Fire Service. Um, is it okay to come in? If you'd like to come this way. And while I'm standing up Beryl, I'll check you some more I'm okay? Okay. Hi Beryl, I'm Carol from the Home Oxygen Service. Do you know why we're here today? I've got a rough idea. We're just a little bit concerned about you smoking with your oxygen and your daughter's very concerned as well. Do you know there's some of the dangers that can be faced with smoking with oxygen? Yeah. Unfortunately, there's been a lot of incidents in our local area. And the reason me and Sam are here today is we just want to go through some do's and don'ts of what you should be doing with your oxygen therapy. Now, you do need to be away from your oxygen source for a minimum of 10 feet, which means ideally you need to be smoking down the stairs or out of the building. Would that be a problem? I don't do that. No. The cannula you use or an oxygen mask can easily catch fire if you have a cigarette or lighter near them and you can have a flash burn barrel. I don't smoke near the machine or the cylinder. Hi Beryl, as I've been walking through your property I've noticed this e-light cigarette and the charger that was next to it isn't the right one for the product so we need to get you a new charger. Um, have you been using your e-light as well as smoking cigarettes? Yes. Oh, well, you need to be very careful of that because an e-light, as well as a cigarette, it's a source of heat. They do get hot. Sam, I'm really concerned. I don't know about you. Yeah, I know. She's not taking on any advice about being safe with that oxygen, is she? No, she's not, no. There's all this clutter. Um, she's smoking. You can smell it in the air. Yeah, and there's a few things on her escape route as well that yeah. I'm concerned about. She'll be tripping over even if she does yeah. need to get out of the property quickly. Yeah, I know, I can see the concerns. And, and she's looking after the grandson quite a lot, isn't she? That's she's right, yeah. She's still care for the grandson and she's, she loves the cat, doesn't she? So there's gonna be a problem here, isn't there? There you go, Beryl, I've made you a nice cup of tea. There you go. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna take these away, they're a bit dangerous. I hope you're not smoking in bed. I'll just leave it here. Okay. okay, and um, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Okay, we're back in a couple of weeks. Make sure you're okay. All right. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. It should have been me, honey, not Tommy. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, please. What more can I say? I wish it had been me. I really do.
I wish I'd listened to their advice. I really do. Please be safe at all times and take a few moments to think through the following important do's and don'ts related to your oxygen therapy. Firstly, you should not smoke when wearing oxygen in the home or car. Also, battery operated electronic cigarettes pose a similar danger to any other heated source and must not be used with oxygen due to their potential to produce a spark ignition. Do not cook with your oxygen when using an electric or gas oven. You must turn off your oxygen for 30 minutes before using any heat source as oxygen enriches the environment and absorbs in fabrics including bedding and clothing. Some of these heat sources include fires, cookers, hair dryers and straighteners. If you use oxygen in the car, please switch off your oxygen before refuelling or arrange for someone else to fuel up your vehicle. Do not use any type of candle or oil burners in the home due to the oxygen enriched environment. The recommended distance to sit from an open fire is 10 feet and 5 feet from a closed fire. Please ensure your room has good ventilation as this will reduce oxygen buildup. Your oxygen tubing should not be near or over any heat source. Also please be aware of trip hazards caused by trailing tubing. It is recommended you keep your oxygen equipment as clean as possible as recommended by your oxygen engineer. Do not use oils or grease such as Vaseline or petroleum based products on the skin as this is potentially explosive with oxygen and a heated source. You may use water based gels which you can buy from the chemist. Do not remove any fire brakes installed by the engineer from the oxygen tubing. In the event of a fire, no matter how small, do not attempt to tackle the fire. Leave your home immediately, stay out and call 999. Please inform the fire service that there is oxygen equipment in your property. This is the end of this safety film. Thank you for listening and please remember, there are worse things than dying.